Hi everybody, this is Barbara Michelle and welcome to a scrapbook page processing video. Today I'm making a page about a hiking trip my daughters went on a few months ago and I'll be using papers from the Citrus Twist January 2016 main kit along with some stamps, watercolors, and other embellishments. So to begin with I was showing the papers that I chose from the kit. Um, the one with the lemons was from Basic Gray called Sun Kissed Fresh Squeezed. It had the lemons on one side and the green polka dots on the other. And the yellow polka dotted one um, with the flowers on the other side, the gray flowers, was from Seven Paper called Elliot, Seven Paper and Studio Calico. I also had just a white um, 12 by 12. It was a textured cardstock. The black paper that you saw was um, cardstock from my stash, and I matted the photos on that. And then I placed them on the white paper how I wanted them to go. Um, my paper trimmer is off to the right of the screen. You can't see it on camera, but I trimmed up the papers that I thought I wanted to use there. And now I'm just um, taping the pictures together because I know I want them to be in that shape. Here I'm measuring out how much paper I need to cut off from the yellow and white. Not really polka dots, kind of like a spattered dot. And there we are. I have that trimmed down. I don't end up using that yellow. Ah, yes, there we go. I prefer the blue of the background of the lemon paper, and I love that lemon paper. It's just so happy and cheerful. So I had a little bit left. Um, and I trimmed that down for my picture to map on the back of the picture. There I am just seeing if that's how I wanted to go. And now I'm inking up the edges of the paper. And I use the Ranger Archival ink in jet black. Hmm. And now I'm just taping the picture to the paper. And take, taping all the papers together. All right. That adventure wood veneer comes from the Citrus Twist kit. And I just wanted to paint it black with some acrylic paint. So that's what this is now, me painting that. I will skip most of that. You won't see. Now it's just drying, and I'm going to set it aside to dry even more. That's the watercolors I'll use. This paper was not, is not watercolor paper, so I try and go pretty easy with the amount of water on the page, and it's only along the edges anyway. I just wanted to add some of the some of the colors that were from the papers that I chose. So I'm going to be adding some yellow and some black and some green in the spaces that were left from the design of the papers that I chose. I probably have some music on at this point. Never watercolored on a scrapbook paper before, or on a scrapbook page before, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I should probably, I'll probably be doing more of that. I'm just blotting off some of the extra moisture, or what, some of the extra water. It'll dry faster, and then it won't warp the paper as much. And here, um, the green. I'm just testing the green to see if it'll match the. I was just, sorry, not testing it. I was mixing up the green and the yellow a little bit to help it match the green polka dotted paper that I was using in the layout. There's not a lot of green on there. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, the bottom of the paper. More painting. Mm. 
Alright, we're almost done. There's not much more painting. Oh, just bringing the yellow around. But that actually gets covered up with the paper, the pattern paper. Okay, I'm just cleaning up my watercolor supply so I don't make a mess. And drying the watercolors. All right, so that's my, the page is dried now and I'm just gluing down the pattern paper in the picture. I always glue a lot. And then I have to pull it up because I want to stick something behind it. Um, Yep, that's the adventure wood veneer that we paint that I painted black. And I'm just adding some scotch adhesive dots on the back. They don't really pop it up that much. Um, there's a little bit of a. And they're not pop dots, they're just adhesive dots. And I put it on. I tried to put it in the spots on the word where it was like thickest so that the dot would be hidden. And now I am adding some Tim Holtz little stickers, little letter stickers that say hiking. It says, well, it says a hiking adventure, but I don't actually put the letter A on there, just hiking. We're just putting the, I started with the one in the middle to go out left and right from there. Although I actually will have to take up some of those letters uh, later on to put a journaling card underneath. And this is just um, some extra tags and cards that I had in my stash that I'm just sorting through right now. Oh, there's the journaling card. And there I am. I'm taking up the first three letters that were on the white part of the page so I can slip the journaling card under there as you see. All right, we have skipped ahead. Those are some die cuts from, you can see in the upper left, the dies that I used to cut out the leaves. I wanted to add those leaves uh, because it is a hiking <clears throat> excuse me it is a hiking uh, page and they were out in the woods so I thought it would add, be nice to add them and the paper I chose to cut on is very thin I tore some of the leaves off so I had to use be careful when I was placing them down I am going to use that ferny one. There we go. And it goes to the, more to the top of the picture. I like that one. It's still thin paper. It's pattern paper, but it's pretty thin. It was just from papers that were in my scrap stash. When I put the tape on it, made it real sticky and it was difficult to get in place. Now I'm just inking up the edges of a tag. It says, hey there. And, or actually, I don't and, and I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know where that little gray piece there came from. <clears throat> No, I'm just cleaning up the mess of the leaves. And I pull out my stamps. This, I'm just masking off that leaf with the extra leaves that I had cut out because I want to stamp in that area but behind it. And I'm using the stamper so that um, if I need to, I can stamp again, which I do need to. With the layers, it's hard to get the stamp to stamp right. 
the first time. Have to stamp it a couple times and push, give it more pressure on the spots that it misses. And I'm just taping a mask over the part um, that I don't want to stamp on. Again, I'm using the Ranger Archival ink. And you can see how it didn't stamp all the way, so I'm just stamping it again. It might take me a couple of times. Now I'm just removing the mask of the leaves that I had put down. And then I'll clean off, clean off the stamp. And I just use washi tape to hold the paper in place so it doesn't move while I'm stamping. Because if it moves, it just defeats the purpose of the stamper. This is another, I'm going to stamp another stamp, a different shape from that package. I don't know what that package was. I believe it's Fiskars, but I'm not exactly sure. I no longer have the packaging for it. Or the insert, at least. I'm taping down the paper again so that it could hold it in place. And lifting up the stamp and masking off the picture once again. There was my head in the picture a little bit. And the stamp works good except for right at the edge of the picture, where the edge of the picture and the paper underneath meet. I did use a pen, that's not in the video, but I used a pen just to uh, finish the lines there because it didn't stamp because of the uneven surface. Okay, this stamp I did not put on the stamper. I just used a regular stamp block because I didn't want it to be as precise. It was supposed to, I wanted it to be whatever it came out. To have that uh, uneven stampiness. And the part where it's most uneven there over by um, the yellow pattern paper will be covered up anyway because of the journaling card I'll put there. Okay, I'm just stamping at the bottom to, I did want to add you know, the darkness at the bottom of that. There's the journaling card. Still more stamping. I probably could have stopped, but I was having a good time with it, so I kept going. Again, we're back with the stamper, because so that I could stamp it more than once if I needed to. I think I do two more stamps, two more, just on the green paper underneath, yeah, right underneath those two pictures. Just to sh make it look like the flowers, or they're mostly weeds, I guess, went up over <clears throat> the edge of the paper there. That one reminds me of a dandelion, kind of. It's not really a dandelion. I don't even know what kind of a flower it is. There, I, you see, I was using the pin just to connect right at the edge where um, it wouldn't stamp because of the difference of the height of the paper. So I just filled out my journaling card there. And I inked the edges, and now I'm just gluing it down. It takes a second to get it just right. Now I'm putting the letters back on the page that I had removed earlier. That's for the word hiking.
All right, we are almost finished. Oh, that might be the end, actually. I'm just cleaning up, and here are some close-ups of the page. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up and subscribe below, and have a great day.